Hey YouTube, it's Amazing Buys where we discuss shopping, fragrance, and do reviews. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the notification bell, like, and subscribe, and let's see what's new at Sephora. Starting off with the Sephora Inside of Kohl's, I spotted the new Ellis Brooklyn Body Mist, which I've been wanting to try for the longest. It was online only for a while, so we're going to start off with sand. This is in the warm and spicy fragrance family and the key notes are coconut milk, ginger lily, and vanilla absolute. I would say that out of the four body mists, this is the warmest and actually the most strongest out of the four. This has a sweetness to it. It is giving beach vibes. If you're familiar with sand notes and fragrances, this is what this is giving, hence the name. So I like this one overall. I feel like it's a great beach scent if you're not wanting like that sunscreen or overly coconut smell. Next up, we have have peaches this is the one that I was the most excited about by the way this is going for $35 for a 1.7 ounce and $48 for a 3.4 ounce so for a body mist this is pretty pricey okay so this is supposed to be inspired by the 90s it's in the fruity florals category and the key notes is sweet peach orange flower and sugared musk this was my favorite out of the four I thought it smelled refreshing I do like peach scents so it was the perfect blend of like a fruity and a floral scent and it had a light musk in the background so overall I feel like this one was good. It was on the lighter side but I still enjoyed it. Next up we have the Sun Body Mist. So this is in the Fresh Solar Fragrance family and the key notes are Sweet Clementine, Orange Flower Water, and Vanilla. So a lot of times people associate solar and ambery fragrances with like a warmness to it, but this one actually isn't. It had an airy freshness to it, so I get why it's in the fresh solar category. In the background, it had some sweet citrus notes in it, and I feel like it's an overall good scent if you're like out in the sun for the day. For the last body mist in this collection is C, and let me tell you, I'm looking at the notes for the first time and I am shocked. This is in the fresh citrus and fruits category, and the key notes are Italian mandarin, pineapple leaves, and taco bean. Taco bean where? This is pretty much the same as Sea Salt Coast by Bath & Body Works, but stronger. This is a straight, airy, and aquatic scent. It literally smells like beach water. So if you are a big beach fan and you want a little something extra on you or something, this is what this smells like, like salty seawater with green notes. I also spotted the Skylar body mist that are 2.7 ounces going for $30. I didn't feel the need to review these because they smell exactly like the perfumes, just a little bit lighter. I will say that the Boardwalk Delight one is the strongest out of the bunch. Okay, so this is pretty much the rest of my clip from the Sephora Inside of Kohl's. I was just going over the seven virtues. They did have the two newer ones, which is Cherry Ambition and Ambery Vanilla in this discovery set. So that's going for $25. You can also find the new Clean Reserve H2O collection. I've smelled these before. Overall, if you like aquatic floral scents, you definitely want to check this out. This is something that isn't super projecting. So if you like skin scents, aquatic scents, stuff you would wear like outdoors at the beach, I think you would like this collection. Oh my goodness, I was not expecting to find this. This this is Juliet by Juliet Has a Gun. This is an EDP. So they have the mini size, which is a 0.25 ounce for $34. They have a 1.7 ounce for $115 and then a 3.3 ounce for $150. So this is in the warm florals category and the key notes is dark cherry, jasmine sambac, absolute, tonka bean, and it also has notes of pink pepper and cashmere in. This wasn't what I was expecting at all. I was expecting like a deep, sweet, dark cherry like the description says. But if anything, you mainly get like the florals and the pink pepper and the, maybe the cashmere in there as well. This was a very sheer floral scent. And I feel like the dark cherry note took the back seat. Like, I don't know. I was really disappointed in this. I'm really curious to know what you guys will think about this, so comment below if you've smelled this and let me know if you liked it or not. Okay, let's move on to the next fragrance. Okay, so we have Killian Paris's Blue Moon Ginger Dash. I was so excited when I found this because for the longest it was saying online only. So for a 1.7 ounce, this is going for a whopping $245. So this is a unisex scent and the fragrance family is fresh citrus and fruits. The key notes are lemon, vodka accord, and ginger. 
So this is supposed to be inspired by a 90s drink called Blue Lagoon. And that drink had a mixture of lemon, vodka, and blue caracal liquor. I think that's how you pronounce it. So this one was very interesting. This was very fresh. It was citrus. You do get a hint of that ginger in there. But one thing, and I know it's not listed, for some reason I was getting a bit of mint in there. I'm not familiar with the Blue Lagoon drink from the 90s because obviously I wasn't drinking back then. <laughs> wasn't old enough. <laughs> but yeah, it's not listed, but I definitely got a bit of mint in there. So if you like liquor drinks, this is part of the liquors collection that they have. It's it's a tiny bit masculine leaning and I do want to say I love the bottle with the blue hues in it. Right next to it is Killian's Moonlight in Heaven. So this is a 1.7 ounce going for $295. This is in the fresh citrus and fruits category again and it is also unisex. The key notes are grapefruit, mango, and roasted tonka beans. I was shockingly surprised that I like this. I love the blue color first of all. It is so eye-catching but I did not know that these are the notes and what's funny is that I was getting a sweet powdery mango. I was getting the vetiver in it. I was getting some florals in it but there was something else that I could not pick up on what it was and I think it's the roasted tonka beans. So when my son smelled it he was like this smells exactly like grapefruit next and i was looking at him like he was crazy i'm like grapefruit like i get a little bit of citrus or something in there but i think i was picking up the mango so after i edit this i have to let him know that there is a grapefruit in there for the next two is good girl gone bad and can't stop loving you i won't go over these individually because i think i went over it in the past video but if you like one you will like the other and the orange blossom is the dominant note in both of these Really the only difference is that Can't Stop Loving You is a little bit warmer than Good Girl Gone Bad. Next up we have Rolling in Love. This is a 1.7 ounce going for $2.95 and this was a pleasant shock to me. So this is in the warm florals category and the key notes are almond, milk, iris, and musk. They smell just like those notes, guys. I guess the red kind of threw me off and I thought it was going to be something with a lot of spices or something in there. But if you like milky almond notes with a bit of floral in there, you will love this one. I feel like it's a tad bit feminine leaning, but I do feel like guys can pull this off as well. Even if like they mix it and layer it with something, it would be great. So this was a pleasant surprise to me. I really, really like this one. And for the last one, it wasn't at my store, but this is available online. This is a 1.7 ounce going for $2.95. This is Killian's Sunkissed Goddess. So this is the new fragrance that just came out. This has notes of bergamot, tear flower, ylang ylang, and coconut. So I'm really interested to know what this smells like. It seems like it would be great for the summer, but it seems like because that ylang ylang no, it might be like a grown woman scent. Well guys, that's it for my Sephora review and walkthrough. Thank you for watching and as always, have fun, stay blessed, and happy shopping.